another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will focus on the consequences of unemployment. Although unemployment is generally a problem, there are some benefits that can be gained from unemployment. Firstly, we mentioned in an earlier video, frictional unemployment is the type of unemployment where workers are unemployed while they move from one job to another. This allows workers to move from less productive industries to more productive industries, which is very beneficial for the economy in the long run. High unemployment also means there's more people competing for each job. This helps to keep wage rates low, which is good for firms. With lower costs, firms are now more internationally competitive and may be able to export more. This is good for both the balance of trade and for tax revenue because as firms earn more, the government will earn more in taxes. For individuals who become unemployed, there are some pretty obvious negatives. First of all, unemployment benefits will be a lower income than when you're working in a job. This will lead to them having a lower standard of living because they're able to afford less of the things that they want. Unemployment can put a lot of pressure on people's personal lives, often leading to relationship breakdowns, alcoholism, and gambling problems. With recent experience often a requirement from employers for getting a new job, people who find themselves unemployed for a long period of time may feel that they can't get a job at all. Eventually, these people stop applying for jobs and drop out of the system just relying on benefits. These people are known as excluded workers. Individuals who are employed still face costs from unemployment. This is because it's workers who pay for the benefit system through contributions to national insurance, with the remainder paid for by the government. The money that comes from the government always has an opportunity cost. The more it's having to spend on unemployment benefits, the less it's got to spend elsewhere unless it intends to run a deficit budget and run up more debt. Unemployment causes a double hit to the government's budget. This is because they receive less revenue from income tax and they have to spend more on unemployment benefits. This makes it more likely the government will end up with a deficit budget and have to increase borrowing. The other big concern for the government when it comes to unemployment is cyclical unemployment. This is where demand decreases and less output is required. Therefore, less workers are needed to create that output. More people end up unemployed and because more people are unemployed, they have less money and demand decreases again. And this vicious cycle continues. It's the government's role to find a way and find measures to put a stop to that when it's happening. Areas that have persistent high unemployment can wind up becoming depressed areas. This is because high levels of unemployment have knock on effects on other businesses in the region and more of those will fail, leading to even further unemployment. People that can afford to leave the area will leave the area for somewhere else, making the problems even worse. House prices will fall as people leave the area. Meanwhile, when unemployment is high, crime rates tend to rise. That brings us to the end of this video on the consequences of unemployment. Join me again soon when I'll be looking at the fair distribution of incomes. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.